subscribe for the Cummins. Well, three of them, classic. I guess the other one will arrive tomorrow. Yo, Leon, what else did we get? We got some Fuel Rebel 8 22 by 10s. All right, let's unbox these puppies. Hopefully they look sweet. Oh yeah, that's gangster, damn. We went for more of like a off-roady sort of look, not necessarily like the bro wheel that you always see on uh, diesels, but these look sick and we're gonna powder coat them obviously because we're a powder coating shop. Chuck these things in the stripper in a second. My God, they're heavy. Like a medium aggressive offset. It should poke about two inches or so. We gotta take out all the wheel bolts first. All right, let's rip these out. Okay, they're in there pretty good. Different tool. All right, let's try this again. That's better. Now there's all these little washers. One, two, blah, blah. Done. Center cap. Now we're gonna bring these over to our chemical strip area. So this is our green solve chemical strip tank. It's a uh, like a heated submersible stripping solution. Works super, super good. Um, doesn't harm the metal. You can leave stuff in there pretty much as long as you want, but uh, it doesn't take too long. Like these will be completely bare in about an hour. So that's it there. We'll let it air out just a little bit. chill and pull them out bare. All right, so it's been an hour-ish. Uh, these things should be pretty much stripped now. Looks like they're uh, completely, completely done. There's still some stuff sticking to it, but we'll let it drip off uh, majority of the fluid. Super expensive, so we want to retain as much as possible. Then we'll shift it over here to the wash area. Give them a good pressure wash, and then it's on to powder stuff. We're gonna dry these things off. Chuck me up. All right, so Taylor is blasting the wheels right now. Let's go over and check it out, see what he's doing. Make sure he's doing a good job. Look at him working hard. Look at these. Freshly blasted. Naturally, gotta match the exhaust tip. Here, let me get some light on that bad boy. There you go. Oof. Color pops. Look at this guy. Shady. What a guy. Doing real work. This is this is the focus here. Ta-da. So we're doing a two-tone. Uh, so he's gonna just basically coat 
where we want this color to be visible. This is the same bronze that we used on the exhaust tip and the lug nuts. Oh, well, now he's going to finish up the face and then we're gonna partially bake it, clear coat it, and do the other color. All right, so these came out of the oven. They just cooled down. Now we got the clear coat going on. for the last powder. Okay, this is doing the two-tone right now. This is a wrinkle silver. So this is when things get a little artsy. So he's wiping off all the powder from uh, where we don't want it. Taylor's pulling the first wheel out of the oven. Let's go see how he did. Oh my God, that's sick. Ooh. I love that wrinkle. That's rowdy. Let's zoom in on that. Oh my God, yes. One down, three to go. Man, that's nice. Good work. Wrapping up two more here. Hands of a feminine surgeon. Right, Taylor? I'll take it. A dainty little surgeon. So that right there is number four done. It's time to get it cured and it's starting to get pretty dark outside. So I think we're gonna call her a night after that and get back here in the morning, get it mounted and balanced and on the truck. And we're back. Time to make a coffee and get these tires mounted. Minty, minty. Gotta protect the Johnnies. There she goes, like a glove. Right. 
Oh ja. There we go. Yeah, that's nice. Like that. It's like the perfect offset for like a work truck. Mint. Just finished getting the old wheels installed here. Let's give them a test and see if they rub. All right, so with this wheel tire combo, we do have a little bit of rubbing, nothing too crazy. We'll deal with it at a later date. Probably go to a, a different mud flap and trim the pinch weld a little bit. But uh, yeah, the 35-12-5s look pretty mint on there. Uh, drop a comment below, just let us know what color combinations you would have done on those wheels. I mean, we went for something that's like a little bit subtle, but also pops in the sun, mild to wild. What would you guys do? Cheers.